Oh, nice fish. What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today I'm gonna to do some smallmouth bass fishing at the river. We have overcast conditions and the river is high and it's a little stained, but it's still fishable. I'm gonna give it a shot and hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right guys, made it to the first spot. Today I'm using a six foot six Gander Mountain Vortex rod. It's a medium action. I'm using a PC Fun Carbon X spinning reel. This is a 2000 series. I'm using eight pound fluorocarbon Vicious brand and I'm going to be throwing a Rapala gold and black little countdown crankbait. That's what I'm starting out with. May switch it up here after a bit, but we're going to try this to begin with and see what happens. Oh, fish on. Fish on. What do I got? Big fall fish, guys. Big fall fish. First fish of the day, big old fall fish. We're gonna let him go. Oh my God, <laughs> he was ready to rock. Seems like every time that I go river fishing, I catch a fall fish, it never fails. I mean, they put up a good fight and they grow uh, pretty big, so I don't mind catching them. Oh, hit it right at the bank. Little bluegill. Buddy, you done got all kinds of messed up. See ya, buddy. Oh, that's two species. Fall fish and a little bluegill. If you guys are interested in checking out any of the gear I'm using today, it will be down in the description. I believe I'm gonna switch lures. All right, guys, switch from the Rapala crankbait to this black and yellow hair jig. More of a finesse approach. See if we can get some bites. When the water's stained like this, yellow and black are both good options, bright colors or dark colors, because it shows up uh, to the fish. They can see it easier. Oh. oh, yep. It's a fish. Not a bad size, really. All right, three fish total two little bluegill and one fall fish just really surprised we hadn't caught a smallmouth yet well we're gonna head on down the river try a different spot all right we made it to the next spot see if we can catch us a smallmouth oh hung up i got hung up too but it popped loose Oh, small mouth. He freaking came out of nowhere and hit it right at the bank. About the same one you caught, wasn't it? Yours was a little bigger. Pretty little feller though. Oh. Another one. What's this? Oh, it. What is? Another smallie. Right in the corner of the mouth on the old black and yellow hair jig. Cute little fella. Those last two I caught, I threw over here in this current and kind of let it drift down. And they hit it right here where uh, it starts getting deeper. So the way I'm fishing this hair jig, I'm just casting it out, letting it sink down to the bottom, and I'm just working it back in. I'm jigging it, hopping it off the bottom. I'm trying to keep it close to the bottom, but not on the bottom, because I don't want to get stuck. You can play around with the cadence on how you jig it. Just kind of see what the fish want. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Holy crap. Fallfish. It's a beast. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at that freaking beast. There he goes. Fish on, what is it? It's gotta be a little bluegill. Yep, that's what it is. I love the colors on these fish. See ya, buddy. Oh man, my hair jig's coming apart. Ain't that some crap? Got us a new hair jig tied on here. See if we can get some fish. Fish on. Oh man, just a little, just a little feller. See ya, buddy. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Came down to the river with Dad to do a little fishing. Had a lot of fun, caught a decent amount of fish, caught some bluegill, some smallmouth, and some big fall fish. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in checking out the gear I used in this video, make sure you check the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish all out.